Okay, as you can see, the paint has dried on our captain side EFIS panel. There's a nice finish on it. You can see if we look for the surface of it, it's a very even, and this is just the color that I've been painting everything. It's a gray. So I'm going to take that now and I'm going to put it back into the blank that's been left in the machine so all of the indexes will still line up. So now as you can see, I've placed it back into the original blank of material so that all of the labels will line up perfectly when we go back to the computer and enable that. So now you can see the black is what we cut before. So now we're going to go into the configuration of the laser and we're going to turn that layer off so that it will no longer be output to the laser. And then I'm going to set the power levels and cut styles. Okay, so now what I just did was, as you can see on the laser software here, or maybe you can see it, I set an enabled, and it's not focusing well there, I wonder why, um, I set the layer for the graphics to scan, so it's going to be uh, more of a raster scan, and the text for all the labels to just a high speed low power cut. So everything that's blue will be more or less scanned as a raster and everything that's green will be cut as a vector. So we're going to take one last look at the settings and we're going to go ahead and hit start on the laser. Here it's putting on the graphics, everything that's not text. And it's a very weak, fast pass, so it really just gets through the paint and not too deep into the acrylic. You'll see it once it finishes this line, it'll move on and it'll go back and do the text. Oh, there's a couple more left to do.
see now it'll go back and it'll put the text on. And although it really doesn't look like it's doing much at this point, it is, and we can see that as soon as it's done. this out and you can get a good look at it. And here's the finished piece. And we'll pull that out and wipe it off. Get the acrylic and paint dust off of it. And I'll just give it a real quick little brush off here. And then hold it up to the light and you'll be able to see the quality of the panel that we just made. So you can see now that the labeling and the text for the panel line up very well with the holes and the perimeter of the panel. And that's a function of leaving the blank anchored in the machine long enough to get the paint. Now I let the paint dry on this. I let this paint dry for about 10 minutes before I put it back in the laser. And as you can see, we've got a really nice panel here. So I hope this video helped. I'll put together another one uh, in just a little bit to show, oh you know what we can do real quick? We'll show the, um, we'll put the keys in just to show you roughly how that works. So these would be the key tops. And I'm not putting them in the right order, but these would be, you see the, the backlight come through them nice and sharp here. Again, I'm not gonna put them in the right positions just to put them in there and show you. And so there you have it, basically the front panel of the Captain Side Epus. And We'll show the cutting of the rear panel for this in just a few minutes.